So today we're gonna talk about coming out. Yes, coming both of our coming out story. Coming out the closet, girl. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Come on up the closet. How did you come out? We <laughs> okay, so I guess we're starting with me. Yeah. I how do how are we doing this? Like, are we going back to when we first felt like we started liking girls or started dating? Yeah, girls? we can like, start okay, let's start with like when we first realized we was like in women. And then you can lead up to when you told your parents that you like women. I've always liked women, mm -hmm. honestly. Um, but my first time dating a woman was in my freshman year in ninth grade. So that's when my whole gay journey of dating women started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, definitely in ninth grade, freshman year of college, I'm tripping. I was like, dang, you was young getting them bitches, huh? Yeah, but freshman year in college. Um, so I was just doing that on the low for the longest. Um, I didn't really tell my parents I wasn't really comfortable with it because they always was Christians and buy the Bible, buy the Bible and stuff like that. So no, I did not tell them. Um, but what year was I trying to think when I actually told them? I think it was 2016, I want to say. Oh, the AC went out at our house. <laughs> And I had to stay at my granny's house for like a, a month or so until they got it fixed. So I went to my granny's house and of course I was dating. Not of course, but I was dating at that time. And um, within a month, that gr the girl was coming over and shit like that. So my granny started questioning like, mm. she started saying like, who is this friend, da 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 da. And then, um, how did it even Yeah. Oh, um, my dad popped up. Cause we were staying over there for a month, about a month. My dad popped up and the girl was there, mm. and we was in the room laying down. And he just walked in, was like, um, "Okay, like, what's going on? Like, was this like a girly girl, or was this like a stud girl?" So it was obvious. It was like you, a stamp. Oh, okay, it's obvious that she. Yeah, it was laying. obvious it was that she girl. like bitches. Yeah. yeah, he walked in and we was just laying down watching TV and shit, and yeah, he walked right on out and. It went off, it was hell from there, y'all. Like, I got kicked out for the summer. I had to continue staying at my granny's house. Um, they, well, my dad was like, he doesn't, he didn't raise me this way. He basically disowned me entirely. Um, said some very hurtful things, but I grew from them. <laughs> That's a good thing. Um, and my mom, she was really okay. She wasn't okay, but she was very disappointed, but her brother, um, which is my uncle, he's gay. She kind of was just like, she's been here before, so she kind of kind of accepted it, but she didn't really accept it because it's her daughter. So. Yeah, it's still unexpected. Yeah, it's very unexpected, but she didn't give me a hard time as much as my dad did. Um, it took me about two or three weeks for me and my dad to actually speak to each other. When I moved back in, it was still extremely awkward. And yeah, uh, we can talk about our story now. Because her coming out for Okay, okay. Um, I want to say I always knew that I like girls, like, since I was like five, I was looking at women. But I didn't actually start dating, dating, like, for real, for real, like, that dead ass dating a girl to, like, my freshman year of high school. And yeah, that was trash. And then, yeah, I came out and, well, no, I told my mom when I was 14 that, like, you know, I have a girlfriend, like, I think I like girls, I just do what you do. Like I told her just to her face, like I remember coming into her room, like I just wanna tell you something. And she was like, no, you're just a baby. Like you don't know, you don't know what you like yet. Like basically just like disregarded the whole, <laughs> disregarded the whole, like did I do her like that? I'm just using her space. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but basically just disregarded my whole thing when I was like 14. And then I came out again in college and I used to ride home with my friend at the time, and I was riding back to Houston to go back to school, whatever. 
And I had just wrote her a note, and I was like, look, bro, I got to tell you that I was 14, that I like girls, you didn't believe me, like, I'm not in a relationship now, but I do still, like, very much like women, <laughs> so, like, what you want me to do? So, yeah, I wrote her a note, and I left, and on the way to Houston, like, literally on the road, I had just texted her, like, hey, I left you a note in my room, if you can, like, we'll never get the chance to go in there and read it. And she was like, oh, it's, it's something sweet. Like, it's it's something nice. Mm -hmm. It's not nice mm -hmm. to you. It's nice to me. Like, it's a relief for me. So, yeah, after that, after she read the note, she started crying. And then she told my dad. And then he was like, well, we already knew that she never brought boys around. But you and me, she don't dress like the boys. So, it was kind of obvious. So, he wasn't really tripping. But he was like, my daughter's dad, he just didn't want me to turn into like a stud. Like, he didn't want me to turn into like a guy like cutting my hair off and all that shit. He thought I was going to be one of them girls. But no, it's still me. I just like women. And then, yeah, my mom, we didn't talk for like maybe a week, but I was already in college anyway. So it's like, I don't really need to talk to you every day. So we didn't talk for like a week. But then after I started coming home, like, he started being okay with it. And I started asking, like, okay, so. I don't say nothing to you about boys at all, or like, do you still like know my like I'm gay, gay? So, yeah, it just over time it it, it went away. Yeah, like my dad, um, even after I came out and stuff, he kept saying like, at family events and shit, hold this baby, da da. Don't that feel good? Don't you want to have one? You can't you have can one. Still do that. Doing what you're doing, like you literally can still do that. Um, do that. It's just not the way that they want me to do it the mm -hmm. Christian way or whatever whatever the case may be because mm -hmm. I don't claim any kind of religion. So it was just like that's just how y'all do it. It's yeah. literally it's another no way you could do it. Yeah, it's really no difference. It's just we're picking who we want to bury and be and that's it. Yeah. But, For me it's more simple. And then yeah. like my mom she would be sometimes she would be tripping. But to me how I thought how I always thought of it was I could be doing so much fucking work. Like, mm -hmm. I could be coming home with all type of a AIDS and HIV and boo -boo 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 -boo. I could be having hella babies, don't know who the daddy is, like, I could be a crack dealer. Yeah. But you mad at me because I'm like women. So, who cares if I like women? Like, I'm not hurting you. I can still yeah. have a baby, just like Denisha said. I can still get married. Like, it's not like it's against the law to be fucking gay. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I think after they probably realized that part too, it's like, okay, mm -hmm. it's not that bad. Yeah. yeah. Now it's really, really cool. So how, yeah. we could just, we could just talk about the moment where we found out, well, where we felt like our parents were accepting us. Oh like yes, it. for sure. That's so, <laughs> did my dad FaceTime me. And we was just talking and stuff like that. My sister was in the background like, we got you a shirt today, da 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 And she held up a little pride shirt. Yeah. I'm going to try to find that picture and post it right here. But I took a picture. And that face is still sour. <laughs> yeah, his face is still sour, of course. But it was still cute that um, my mom, him, and my sister all went to the store together and they picked that shirt out. And, you yeah, know, my sure. parents bought it and stuff like that. So that was the moment for me. I literally cried that night. Yes, y'all know her cancer ass. I was like, wow, they really accept me. Like, they they bought me a prize shirt. So that was kind of like the big step for me. And then after that, it was invites to the events and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I'm trying to think of my mama, like, why was this new? Like, oh, okay, like, you really feel me. I really think it was her. Like, not even trying to be, like, gay or nothing like that. But to me, it was really, like, my first real real girlfriend so like she would just come to the house and sometimes she would just be sitting outside waiting for me to get off work and mama she usually mama's a Virgo so she usually don't like a whole lot of people around she's very kind of like judgy so for her to be so cool with her just chilling out there or like her pulling up every day was kind of like okay well I think you you easing into it like you you get it now <laughs> I think I can't really like I don't have a moment like how you have a moment it was just like she don't really care that Tamia was over here she not like she didn't have nothing, and you know my mama, like, she gonna have something to say. She you don't never, think it was when she asked, like, for me to go out in town? Me, yeah. Like, was that like a, whoa, like. Yeah, okay, we, yeah, I could, I could go with that one. Yeah. I could go with that one. I could rip, yeah, I would say whenever we went out of town, and in that moment, like, while we were out of town, strangely, my dad asked me if me and Tamir were, like, planning on getting married, and I was like, 
to me, yes, but it's shocking that you, that was on your mind, like, you're taking it that serious, and I was like, yeah, we do, like, we, we talked about it, and he was like, good, good, okay, well, then, shit, we gonna see it tonight, but yeah, I guess good. whenever she went, when mom invited her out of town, that's when our family took, and my dad asked if he was getting married, so that's like, yo, dad asked me if I'm gonna marry a girl, yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
great, I guess. It's definitely great because I wanted to do it again. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was, I guess, yeah, it was a great time. How was your first? Shit, my show was excellent. <laughs> excellent. I definitely felt, that's, that's another reason, I guess, how I knew that I liked. Oh, no. It, mine was Carrie Hilson and... I did kind of a little test on myself. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like prom night, I went to prom with a guy, but it was a guy that had a crush on me. I didn't like him, but he was still a sweet guy. So I was like, cool, whatever. And in that moment of losing my virginity, no, that's when I knew I like girls. So when I did have sex with a girl, it was like even more of a confirmation. Like this feels more, uh, what's the word? Of my speed, like this feels more comfortable. This feels, like what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing? Like I don't, I'm not, uh, I'm not supposed to be with boys. Like this feels more comfortable. It was a little awkward at first, just because I don't, I don't really know what the fuck I'm exactly doing just yet. But we, I definitely want to do it again. Just like you said, we could try this again. Like yeah, ain't nothing here. We definitely did. It was definitely more of a like, just comfortable. Like okay, yeah. And it's a girl, so it's like I can talk. I can ask questions like i don't know what the fuck to do with him anyway get the fuck out of here but that was our coming out coming out story um Come out. yes if you are one like you said that I'm has sorry. not came out go ahead <laughs> like and if now it's not the good time when it is like even if you don't if you don't want to vocalize it like you, you don't have to literally like me i tried to vocalize it when i was 14 you wasn't hearing me if you want to write a motherfucking letter Right, letter. Like, yes. they can, everybody can read. That definitely will lead into another type of depression, which mm -hmm. happened to me too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which you don't want. It's very extremely unhealthy. Just accept who you are as a person and just yeah. stick to that. It's, don't let anyone try to tell you differently. Don't anyone let anyone try to tell you this is how you sh your life should go. This is who you should And you love. can do the same things. Don't let anybody Literally tell you you can't have a baby, you can't thing. get married, they you can't have a happy thing. marriage. Um, was very much lesbian relationships don't last long, and you won't. They gonna be. They only last about two weeks. And do your own research. Like, yeah, take your own, own research. Advice. Do your do, own shit. Yeah, feel and do what you feel you wanna do. And people that love you are gonna love you like to the day you die. Like it's it's yeah. nothing that you can really do that can just you know what I'm saying make them cut them off. It, people love you, bro. Like you should come out. You can be yourself. You yes. might find you a page. Cause I got damn it. And plus, don't nobody want to be with no girl that's in the closet. Like, okay, yeah. so what can we do? Yeah, to, like we scared from to your kiss. Parents and shit. Like, I'm not, especially whenever you, cause I didn't have a lot of them. Like, especially whenever you both are girls. Like, I'm not your home girl. No, I'm not. I'm not your no. best friend. We're not having a slumber party. Stop. We're not finna get a pair of paint nails, baby. What you? No. Bad. Tell them the truth before I do. Cause I'm out. So can't nobody whoop my ass. Other than that, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications because you don't want to miss an upload. And like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. You don't know what to do? That's it? Yeah, that's it. Well, yeah, that's it, y'all. Quick movie. Don't forget to shop Black Own. Today we got on Relief Project. Hold on, show me off in the back. Oh, yeah, we got to do our fit check for y'all. Oh, fit check. My favorite time of the day. Okay, we can start at the bottom. Hold on, hold on. Let me check for my beauty Hold on. Oops, start at my shadows. They look creased up because these my babies, so don't judge me. Vichy's pants, Vichy's pants, Vichy's pants. Relief project. Yes, sir. Hit me on the front. Shot black on, shot black on. Did my ponytail again? No, it's okay. My pants is ass. I mean, wrinkly, y'all, so. You good, bro? I let my girl wear the ducks today. I let her wear the ducks today. Yes, sir. Look at that. What's that say? Comfy with the vintage old navy. Yep. And that's it. Bye. Set it up real quick. So good. No, because I wanted to say something. Else. I just wanted to.